When you have a scan tool that doesn't communicate with the vehicle, there's a few things to test. This is for 2008 and newer vehicles, although vehicles older than this may still have the same tests. Go to the DLC. Notice how it's a trapezoid. Not all DLCs are oriented this way. Some may be this way or sideways, regardless of how it's situated in the vehicle. Here's how to figure out the pins. There are 16 pins in the DLC. The longer side of the trapezoid starts with pin 1 on the left side and goes to pin 8 on the right. The shorter side starts with pin 9 on the left and ends with pin 16 on the right. When you don't have communication with your scan tool, you need to test these five essential pins. Pin 16 is power to the scan tool. Pins 4 and 5 are ground. Pin 6 and pin 14 are the communication lines to the scan tool. 6 is CAN positive and 14 is CAN negative. Connect both channels to Devo. Make sure load is on. So you don't damage the terminals of the DLC, use the Devo 1.5 front probes. Connect one to the positive lead and another to the negative lead. Use the positive channel to test pin 16 for power. The LED should be green and the voltage the same as battery. Using the negative channel, test pin 4 for ground. You should get a green LED and 0 volts. Now test ground on pin 5. Again, you should get a green LED and 0 volts. Now remove your test leads. Turn load off. Connect the negative lead to pin 14, which is CAN negative. Then connect the positive lead to pin 6, which is CAN positive. If you see 0 volts on both channels, the network could be asleep. Turn the key on, engine off, and the network should wake up and become active. CAN communication is very fast, so you'll see the numbers jumping around. CAN positive should fluctuate between 2.5 to 3.2 volts. CAN negative jumps between 1.8 to 2.5 volts. When the network is in standby mode, that's when it's awake but not active, both values should be at 2.5 volts. If you don't get any of the values shown here, you need to test that circuit further to find the cause.